Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. It's Saturday, so this is the yard sale find for the day. I have another video coming out Monday. I also got some stuff at an auction that ended Thursday. So be a video for that. Didn't actually go out today with the intention of doing a lot of yard sales, but this is all from two yard sales. And this only represents about 40 bucks. So I think I did, well, I did really good for the money spent. Let's go through it real quick. First, I got this really kind of old looking, it's not old looking, but pipe clamp style adjustable light. Not a big fan of the color. It's kind of this purplish, pinkish color. But that'd be a nice flex arm light. It's just like I have one right there. I don't know if I showed that in the yard sale video. But this one has the longer fluorescent bulbs. I might mount it between the two drill presses so I can swing it over. Which is what I was going to do with that one, but mount that one to the lathe. Okay, then. This is grinder here. It's 10. Well, this grinder. This. I really like this Eagle oil can. One quart capacity. And one of these is an Eagle. That one is. Where's my finger? There it is. This stuff here, I paid 20 bucks for. So I got the grinder, the vest, old sander, black and decker. It does work. And the three oil cans for, for that. So that was good. Now I, that, I got that Friday. That's all I had. And today, I was just driving around. There was a yard sale in kind of a upscale neighborhood. You know, it's surrounded by, it surrounds a golf course. Usually up there, it's just, you know, high-end furniture and stuff like that. But they had one table full of tools. So you see a lot of stuff has stickers, all that, stickers. $10 on that. And so there are people coming behind me. So I grabbed what I wanted, set it on their table by their money box. Go, like I said, you know, go grab some more stuff, bring it back, bring it back. So I had... A pretty good pile and i'm thinking in my head oh in this neighborhood stuff's usually expensive and i was like oh 30 40 bucks that's it all up and nope he goes ah, 25 for all of it so i was like sweet so let's look at some of the particulars oh there's a couple big rasps here i just bought these for the handles uh i got a knife making buddy I'll give those two. That file's okay. I'll, not great, but I'll keep it. Uh, these, two of these, we're pulling top post batteries off. You know, pulls the thing off them. There's a snap on. Now, I actually use these when I do oil pans and valve covers. When I rebuild small engines, and I'm going to start showing more of that. I rebuild a lot of small engines. When I do the sump covers and all that, that's how I run them down. So, here's a big inch and fifth inch and five sixteenths proto wrench. Long drill. This drill bit I thought was interesting. That's a long, I think it's a three quarter. She's got some reach to her. You can see where it's been. Focus. 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 Right there. Where it's been soldered. That was nice. Two Swiss or Wiss snips. And they're still nice and sharp. So those are nice. Fine. That's is a this is a bigger set. You know. So that'll be handy. Oh, then another file I bought for the handle. This is one of those Harbor Freight 18 inch bending brakes. Don't know what I'll do with it, but it was cheap. I like these deeper pony. I like these deeper clamps. That's my clamp to have there. A ton of hacksaw blades. Most of them are Vermont American or. 
Milford. They're all high speed steel, various pitches. And there's a ton of them in there. So that's nice. And I've been, little pack files. I've been trying to increase my, I don't have many long reach drill bits. So these were nice to find there. And some good usable sizes. It was only reamer. It doesn't say what it's for. It almost looks like a uh, one of those hole sizing reamers. Not, it's not. I don't think it's a like a tapered re reamer for like a taper pin or a, a Morse taper reamer. But it's still sharp. Up here too, there's a puller. One of these cross beam pullers. No name on it. Seems sturdy. Definitely older. There are the arms for it. It's got two cross pins that are in there. And some more longer drill bits. And then, got this box here. It's just full. I also got those two, but none of you guys be interested in those. So I'm gonna put this on the chair. Let's do this real quick. So this was, I wanted 10 for it. I got it with everything else. It's full of just drill bits. Um, let me stand out this. Um, I think I already know what this is, but it goes into the drill. Something goes in there. I don't know what that is. Hey, if you know what that is, tell me what that is. You know, hole saws. You know, the, I hate these ones are just for wood. You know, just getting bits, a couple. These guys, these guys are always nice to have. Chuck. It's like a masonry bit. Oh, another Chuck key. One of the safety ones. Arbor, another chuck key. There was a bunch of drills there. Or, uh, yeah, hand drills. None of them had keys. I guess all the keys were in here. So, And same thing below. Hmm. It's nice getting the arbors. Usually, you just get a bunch of hole saws and none of the arbors. And then just your typical... Some wood thing. I don't do hardly anything with wood. Another one of these guys. A wood thing, I assume. More chuck keys. And I really didn't need to buy this. Because, slight spoiler, in that one of the job lots I got at the auction was drill bits. Because I had some silver and dimming bits, and I don't have hardly any of those. That's all. USA made stuff. So again, I'll sort through this and put it in my uh, dispenser over there. But you know, not bad for most of the seams. I'll go through it. You know, American made high speed steel stuff. So. Yeah. Put that back in there. Put that back in there. So yeah, that was today's yard sale finds. Did good for the money. Nothing, you know, no real machinist tools. The grinder, I don't have a grinder that has a buffing wheel. So I'll probably keep that and put a wire wheel on this side for cleanup stuff. My favorite thing is the oil can. I really like that for some reason. And the whisk cutters are nice. So yeah, tomorrow we'll do the other uh, another drawer in the toolbox. Then Monday will be the auction stuff. I didn't do too great. Uh, bidding was fierce because it was kind of out, out of the way out in the country. So people made sure it was worth the uh, trip. So, oh, I almost forgot. One other thing. This. 
You guys know what that is? That's a railroad spike hammer. I got that there too. I like collecting railroad stuff. Yeah, oh, where I was, yeah, sorry. Um, so I got some good stuff at the auction. I got it all, the stuff I got is cheap and you'll see why it was cheap, so. Yeah, another yard sale video. Yard sales are starting to come to an end. It's already getting cooler out, so. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.